Let, let's uh, talk about the goalkeeping situation at the other end while we've got you here as well. Jordan Pickford injured. I, I think it's been made quite clear by Gareth Southgate, hasn't it, that he's the number one, number one. But uh, Nick Pope getting the nod last night. Is there a fear, perhaps, that the backup keepers haven't got enough experience over time to to fulfil the role that might be asked of them? Yeah, it's difficult when when you've got a goalkeeper that's been number one for so long or or commanded that that position, and then you've got a number of goalkeepers coming in that haven't really got that experience. I think Dean Henderson's got one appearance, Pope's got five, it might be six now, and it's it's not that helpful when you're going into a major tournament if you've got an inexperienced goalkeeper. However, Nick Pope has got so much experience playing in the Premier League. Yes, it's different, but I, I really like Nick Pope. I think he keeps things. He keeps it, things basic. He makes saves. He distributes. He does what you need to do for a goalkeeper. He doesn't look to do something elaborate. He doesn't make mistakes. He's very consistent. And I think if you want someone to be a good backup goalkeeper and someone that you can rely on when you need them, I think Nick Pope's fantastic for that. And so, so you're kind of OK with, and we don't want to wish anything on any player ever, but if, if there wasn't Jordan Pickford uh, available in the summer, you're kind of confident that Nick Pope can, can come in and, and more than fill his gloves. Yeah, I think they're both very different goalkeepers, aren't they? You look at Jordan Pickford and he can be quite elaborate with things. Sometimes he makes some outstanding world-class saves that you'd never expect him to save. He's got fantastic long distribution. But has he got that consistency that sometimes you do get that mistake that, that you're not necessarily expecting to happen? I think with Nick Pope, you don't necessarily have the, the elaborate side of it all, but you have that consistency. And at international level, you want someone that's just going to be there to keep the ball out of the back of the net. Get the ball to the players that, that can play, your flair players, those that are going to score you the goals and those that England are in abundance with at the moment. 